Alrighty, welcome to the Llama Lab. Yvonne, welcome along. Why, thank you. Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> Sunday night, Max is in bed. We need to tick off another round. Um, what are we doing tonight? Figure eight. We're doing, we haven't done the figure eight. I have not done the figure eight. No. So apologies, it's gonna be a little bit different tonight. Uh, the audio is a little different, the microphone's between us. You might get a bit of dual elbow happening. <laughs> But it's uh, just the first time I've set all this up for a ride. Uh, Vaughn's on the kicker bike. I'm on the Doretto. Should take us probably just about an hour or so. You think? An hour? We'll see. Either way, we're here for the roll. We got the chat. G'day Charles, how are we doing? Uh, now we have to find it. To... Vaughn, I'll meet you at the arch. How does that okay. sound? Yeah, I'm 100 you... meters from the arch. Oh, I'm not. Okay, so we're going to be riding together. Um, any questions? Fire away. We've got the chat running there. If the audio is a bit weird, please let us know. We can turn things down a bit. Um, it is a bit of a different setup here in the lab with uh, Jim. I've even got your name at the top there, Vaughn. You're Mrs. Lama. I'm Mrs. Lama. Mrs. Lama. But we'll have to speak up a little bit, though, because the microphone is in a different Between spot. us. Between. <laughs> There's something between us, and it's a microphone. Oh, and there's the arch. Yeah, yeah. Chill, chill. I will find yeah. you. I've got brakes on this bike. <laughs> you do, too, actually. Oh. Okay, you ready to roll? There are so many people on here that we just what are you cannot. Uh, what, what are you wearing? wearing are you wearing, wearing that kit? Right no, now. I'm in some weird. There you are. I've got you. I've got you. Here we go. You're in it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Rock and roll. Alrighty. So let's roll out and get it done. Hopefully, uh, everyone is well. Sunday morning over in the UK and in Europe. If you want to join with us, feel free to jump on. Um, We'll be here for the next 29 point something kilometers. No turn, we can't turn. There's no turns allowed. Don't touch Don't touch, directions. don't touch any, any buttons. <laughs> because yeah. after taking off the gloves, sorry, and the helmet. Oh, and the wheels, we got the wheels. Yeah, that was easy, not. Um, <laughs> we have to uh, go and tick off all the, uh, all the route unlock badges. Oh, Vaughn's gonna, I think Vaughn's getting more ride-ons than me. Oh. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll catch up. <laughs> Here we go. Well, I've got the lightweight wheels on, you see, so I'm going to have to like pedal at about half your wattage because it's just going to be so much faster. <laughs> <laughs> so if one's on the Apple TV 4K, I'm on the Windows 10 machine, which costs 10 times as much. So it's going to be interesting to see. I mean, there you go, side by side, even though it's downscaled a lot. Downscaled a lot. But... I can't even recall which way this route goes, to no, be either. honest. I should have checked. Let's just um, see what happens at 30Ks. I hope should so. get the unlock. I hope the so. Banner, like a... Stream was jumpy at the start. Ah, oh, damn it, Netflix. People stop, need to stop Netflixing and chilling. We should try and find... There's just too many people on screen. We should have done a ride keep together, Von. So with the badge quest, all the um, most of the routes on Zwift are they? Most of the select, I think all of the selectable predefined routes. You guys know these guys, yeah. Uh, you get a badge, or it's an unlock. So once we finish this, you'll see it pop up down the bottom of the screen. I hope, as long as we don't turn. If we turn, it's going to be all bad. Alrighty. Oh, we're going to keep an eye on little Maxi. Yeah. So we can't do this during the day because we can't get babysitters either. <laughs> 28,000 on, oh, well, 28,002 because both of us are on. Alrighty. Set up a few other screens here too. We have. Uh, Main screen jaw, that's the main one that you've probably seen before on here with both of us. We have Zwift full screen. Whoop, just me. Where are you, Von? There's Von. Hi. Von's on the four Apple TV, so that's Apple TV 4K. And that's PC, so broadcasting in 60 frames. Yeah, this one will be a lot smoother. Then Veronica's over here. Oh, you've gone, Vaughn. Huh? I'm just behind you. There we go. Alrighty, but I think this is the one we'll leave. 
on the screen tonight. Simon, they're not that quiet, are they, Vaughn? We have some noise gates and some noise suppressions. So we have two fans on. I'm on the Doretto, Vaughn's on the kicker bike. I've just worked out my fans pointing at me if I sit up, but not if I'm Oh, do you want me to change it? I can change it for you. I'll have to run across Vaughn's shot, though. Well, just stop. If you stop, I can... Okay, okay. I'll, I'll stop pedaling. Done. No, I better not. I better not attack. <laughs> hey, Stefan, how you doing? Crunch. All right, hopefully the wind isn't on the mic. We're good. All righty. We are back. We are back. Now I've got the big screen up. Here we go. So I get to experience the side-by-side, -side, the two screens we have here. So I've got to speak this way into the mic. I've got us the 4K, Von, your, your verdict on 4K versus uh, Apple TV. Don't say it's no different. <laughs> Recovery. <laughs> <laughs> hey, James, how you doing? Thanks for tuning in. This is going to be a bit of fun, not a race, just a ride to tick off the, uh, the route achievement badge, which we haven't got yet. I'm so used to leaning this way to talk to my microphone, which is over here. But tonight we've got a dual-sided mic, haven't we? Yes. So we have to yell at each other this direction. Just remind me to do that. All right, straight, straight. Hey, Roger won the lightweight wheels yesterday. Good stuff, Roger. Sunny UK, nice one. Shane, what's Vaughn's most annoying habit? <laughs> this was swearing. <laughs> Uh, likely. Oh, we have to answer for each other. Yeah. Ah. Oh, my, so I've answered for myself, actually. That's no. my most annoying habit. Sorry, I've, I've jumped the gun. So you have to say, what is my match and then what is yours? Von's up the, Von, okay, dropping me on friendly rides. That's Von's problem. You're on the Tron bike, you are. You said your wheels should be fine. I was joking. All right. If you want to drop right ons, you can get two for one tonight. If you drop a right on to either of us, you might see it come up on screen. Okay, Vaughn is easy to pick out now for me on the pink bike. Yeah, I have to see your own orange hat. That helps okay. me. Okay. Done, done. But not the Meilenstein uh, helmet. Do we have it? Is there a... Oh, there's no Meilenstein helmet. There's a... <laughs> top of the KOM helmet. Too many of those. Oh, I still haven't caught you. Have I given you a ride on? That's the... Have you given me a ride on? Sure we, can, we, can, we can see... <laughs> well, we can soon find out. <laughs> if you've been within my radius. <laughs> Actually, I haven't got my ride on script happening. Vanta7, good evening. Welcome along. I, th I really thought it was just going to be you and I rolling out doing this figure eight. Have a look at this bunch. <laughs> I'm sure they're all here to be with us. <laughs> no, no, no. As in, I thought it was going to be quiet roads. Right. There's just wheel after wheel after 18,000. Hey, Ali. Hey, hey. Ali Mac joined hey, me for Ali. a ton of the uh, <sighs> ascents. Unfortunately, no free kilometers tonight for any descents. <laughs> that was a bit of fun. That's cool. So we're Bluetooth uh, in the entirety tonight. For everything, nothing ant plus here. Nope. No ants to be found. So two, two trainers, heart rates, cadence sensors. Oh, it's up the road again. Sure. And on the phone. Kids these days. Fun question, how's motherhood treating you? Is it the best job in the world? Oh, it is certainly a job. I have <laughs> no idea. <laughs> well, I did have an idea. I'm from a large family of seven children, so <laughs> I know exactly what it's like. But when it's you and it's home, All right, find and you're out in lockdown. <laughs> Max is a full-time job. 
Yeah. That's why we're sneaking in his ride when he's after he's sleeping. You bet. Lee Dixon, thanks for the friendly comments there. All the help the channel has given me recently, much appreciated. It's exactly why I do it. If people can have as much or half as much fun as I do with all these toys, I think people will like indoor cycling. Yeah, I think so. Toys make it more fun with the. Well, to we say to toys, we mean Bike. power meters and trainers and bikes and buying a new computer and having to go buy a new screen for that because the new computer is too good for the screen. <laughs> There's always something. Paul has four girls. Damn. Isn't, aren't they the best? <laughs> Alright Vaughn, ready to roll? Kid, kids in their phones, what's with this? What's with this? Although having said that, she's still beating me. Alright, some right ons. We'll have to get Vaughn another uh, a phone holder. Alright, any questions, feel free to fire away. We're here just for the 30 kilometer Easy ride. Just to tick off the badge here. Alrighty, I'm on a PC. Uh, it's an RTX 2060 GPU, which does well with all this graphics and encoding. So I'm controlling everything for my session. Vaughn's on Apple TV 4K, and I'm bringing that in over a, uh, an Elgato HD60S. And the Apple TV is uh, the 4K version, which is Gen 5, to make it even more confusing. Let's go, Vaughn. Don't you hate when the drink mix gets stuck in the bottom of the bottle? Pre-planning? Come on. But you sip it at the top of your... It's, it's water. water, yeah. <laughs> Try to put drink mix I want this there. sugar. It's worse when you've had multiple sips and then you get the hit of the sugar drink. <laughs> That's the worst. Which wheels? Good question. I still believe I'm on the mining stains. Yes, there we go. There is. I can still read the logo us. while they rotate. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the 60 frames a sec. <laughs> that's the frame rate we're getting. Beautiful. And here's Vaughn on Apple TV 4K. So you'll be getting 30 frames a sec out of that. If the audio is blasting, just let me know if it's blowing out and, and chopping. Let me know. This is a bit of a different setup tonight with the two of us. Michael's jumping in. Let's do it. Weather outside, to be honest, <laughs> we haven't checked. Nope. Nope. I check at the time that I am going to get coffee outdoors, that's about it. Uh, tonight's bin night. That's the most exciting thing that's going to happen all week. That's the only thing I actually have in my calendar. So I'm looking forward to bin night. Should be about five meters of walking. Okay, so we're going up the back of Hanks. Hello, Oh, Yeah. Kicking in? Yep. So Vaughn has the tilt on the kicker bike. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Okay. This still amazes me how, I mean, obviously with 18,000 people online plus on this course, of course there's going to be people riding the reverse, but hardly anybody rides the reverse, do they? You usually, if you want to ride solo, you usually can go backwards and you're done. Yeah, Vaughn's matchy-matchy, of course. I'm not that skilled. I can't figure out what to wash and what I've got in matching anything. Only in-game where I was pink the other day, see that? That was awesome. It was all pink. Ah, uh, yes, the headwind is in use. On low, though, very low. All right. Climb time? Yeah, settling for a good pace. Uh, now, the reverse of this is it's hard at the start, that's it. Once you're over the top, it just becomes a long drag, and we're good. Lee got the uh, the helmet on top of the elf. Oh, mate. When is my helmet going to the hairdresser? Once lockdown is over, we'll get the clippers out. <laughs> hey, Vaughn, what's your thoughts on Tiger King? <laughs> it's a bit of a trip, isn't it? 
Not sure whether it was a reality show or it may have been someone's reality, but wow. What gearing have you got? I think we put a virtual 32 on the. Oh, I'm out of gears. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, buttery. I don't want to hear that. Ah. No, I won't give one to go for the, uh, the QOM. Though it would be handy for a good lead out. What coffee machine are we using? Whatever is it, uh, Fika and Johnny's. <laughs> oh, yeah. what is this with Vaughn getting up the road on me? Damn. Who is in the place? Go to your happy place, happy. All right, Kevin and Ella is watching. Enjoy. You can, Ella, you can cheer for Vaughn. I'll cheer for me. Where's Vaughn? Here she's there. Okay. Oh, she's gonna. Uh, she's got me covered. Has me covered. We are on emergency max duty. Although Vaughn hasn't got the Nest Cam on screen of her phone, <laughs> she's got the companion app. <laughs> Sorry, Max. <laughs> With alerts. <laughs> With alerts, right. He's just above us. The QOM time is better than the KOM time. It can happen, absolutely. No question about it. This is like a llama drive. Von, you had an idea of us doing some llama drives in the carport. Yep. <laughs> we just need to green screen the back window and side windows and we can make it look like we're driving somewhere. Or oh, we just uh, keep the garage down, don't even turn the car on. That'd be driving at night. That'd be perfect audio. You've That's it, we'll just do um we'll just do it like that. There's a much better do it. You can get the lighting perfect then. With our cycling is it is it a competition between two of us? Not really. We're at very different levels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So when we were racing hard and Von was in an NRS team, Von could pretty much hold my wheel when I was doing like a TT tempo. You could hang on. When I was doing 340, 350, Vaughn could hide the slipstream. But that's all about race craft. Where Vaughn is a master at where to sit on the road in a crosswind, like right now. So the wind is coming from the left nostril. I used to use no, no, my nose of indicating where the wind is coming from. Uh, for sprints and stuff, yeah, we'd push each other hard. But a great just, lead out for a sprint. Yeah, there's just always a bit different. But you but would we, always win the sprint from the front. <laughs> we'd utilize each other's strengths for our training. What worked well though is if we were both racing at the same place at the same time, because racing takes a lot of travel, a lot of time away from home. So doing that together. It's a nice weekend away. Was a big win, yeah. Yeah. Robbie from Atlanta, home of Wahoo. Welcome along. Vaughn's latched onto the bunch ahead, he's getting away. Look at that. See what I mean about racecraft? Vaughn's got it. Knows where to sit, I'm just off in La La Land. Good morning, Germany. Good morning. Where's my... We are your breakfast TV hosts. <laughs> right from the saddle. Why are you speaking Russian? <laughs> it's my default sound of a foreign accent. No specific language. Except when I'm pretending to be Max, and he always sounds Italian. Max, Max has an Italian. Max is going to have an Italian accent, I'm sure. Mama. Mama, why you do this to me? <laughs> that sounds like Von's old man, actually. So <laughs> that's where that comes from. Oh! Did we get equal times? Oh! <laughs> Von still met me. Have a look at that. <laughs> I was trying to be nice there. I was doing the Grand Fondo waves. Yeah, Yvonne played the game from coming behind and moving through. Ah. Jack Wisby, how you doing mate? Good to see you. Alright, so what we're up to today, if you just jumped on, 
We have the route badge achievements. Von, the badge achievements. Von's been chipping away at them, as has a lot of them, and I don't. They've only been introduced in the last probably six months or so, I think. So I've ridden all the roads on Zwift anyway, but I haven't done it since they've started awarding badges. So we thought what we'll do tonight is just jump on and get 30k's done for this route, which is figure eight. Uh, Von is on the kicker bike. I'm on the elite original Doretto. Yeah? Yep. I can confirm. Visual. If you see Von go like this in the front end, that's the bike. It's not or she's doing dance or she's moves. Dancing, yeah. <laughs> no trainers, Gary. No, mate. They're uh, very scarce. Very scarce. I have a lot of my older trainers out on loan, on hire at the moment. These people just can't find. Okay, where do we go from here? So we've done that loop, now we do a reverse. Uh, yep. Right. Right, right. We're already on the quest for the badges, excellent. We've only just started, this is, I think the You've first only just started. I've only just started focusing on what I don't have. That's a lot of rides. Oh, someone really hit on me. That was an elbow. Von, chat. Morning, Bond. You miss competitive racing. Ah, no. <laughs> How does your collarbone feel about that? <laughs> yeah. Two collarbones. I've done four. Yep. I've bent the pin that's inside one of them. <laughs> I do miss being super fit, though. That's nice. Alrighty. So, as we roll through here. I don't have a list on a piece of paper. Um, I log into Zwift and check the badges. I need to make a, a decent record of them so I know what's up. Uh, not selling trainers, no. For this very reason, you've got to have the trainers. Yeah. I keep. I have one on stock of the latest models in case there's any firmware updates, in case there's any enhancements, problem solves, or videos I can do on them. But my older kicker one. Um, that I own from way back. That's out. But lots of people now on. Okay, so as we climb up here, I'll show you a full screen Zwift with me. This is in my 4K. Now it is downscaled for the stream. But this is my Zwift in 4K, 60 frames. We'll flip over to Von on the Apple TV. Now you won't see the full difference there, but we both have the aero power up. Uh -huh. I might save that for later. Should have dumped that going through the archway. <laughs> <laughs> so it's two different experiences there. Colors are just a little bit different. You can tweak those though. So many people on. Alrighty. <laughs> I just dumped the power up, you didn't see. <laughs> I did. Uh, Going so early into the right, you're really going to have to wait for me. <laughs> I find your elbow here to my screen. Get out. Get out. <laughs> Uh, we're using two different webcams here, so the colors are going to be a lot different. I'm using the Brio 4K webcam. Von's on the C... The C9... C920. Oh, that's the gradient going up and down in Von. Von's bike moving. So, yeah, keep turning your toes. Hence why the screen's here. The color and the lighting is the, exactly the same in this room. But, yeah, the cameras are different. I may be a little smoother too. I will be getting, if I'm going to do more of these, I'll get two of the same cameras. It makes things so much easier to set up. Fonts up the road on me again. Uh, Neil, first ride on Zwift. Uh, depends if you want hills or the flats. If you want something that's pretty awesome, I like Titan's Grove. It does this. 
sweeps around. But just anything, absolutely anything. It's just jump on a ride. The more time you spend, the more you'll learn, you'll find a bunch. Uh, race entry, ride entry, doesn't cost anything. So you can join those. If you don't like the ride, you can exit out. That's easy. Oof. Where did this hill come from? It's in reverse, you never see it. Ah. The ride down the Alp was a hilarious bunchy. <laughs> Von was on board, standing next to me, pulling the phone out, logging in. That was a hoot. That was awesome. <laughs> Whew, all right. So many riders out. This is unbelievable to see. Yeah, it's so good. Typically this time on a Sunday night. We're usually not riding this time on a Sunday night, but everything's a bit different at the moment. I think I have more trees than Vaughn too. Where are you? Hey, thanks to our runner. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, there's, a few, there's a few ways you can support the channel. First of all, just watching the channel helps the most. Well, it keeps things ticking along. The thumbs ups, the subscriptions really help. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. You can change the alert preferences, so if I do go live in the middle of the night, you won't get the, uh, the email or the alert. That can be... I do uh, understand that people don't want to be alerted all the time if someone going live. Um, but there's also the, yeah, the in-stream in, uh, in what do they call it? Supers? I think Super Chats? Which is what Tower Runners Yep, in. which Tower Runners just contributed to there. And memberships to the channel too. Members. So members get a few little behind the scenes every now and then. Let me show you what a member. Of what goes on. And if you're a member in the chat, you'll get a little llama next to your name. To indicate you're a supporter. Which is cool. All right. Here we go. The milestones are equipped. So sure they are. Ready? The beauty of the milestones. I've got to be careful not to press the button to turn the corner. Actually, I'm not going to touch Don't that. Don't touch the directions. <laughs> <laughs> Miller. There we go. They're on my bike there. Looking good. All right, Vaughn. You've been dropped. Come on, let's do it. Drop your helmet. Drop the power up. There we go. I got distracted because I was trying to show you what the llama looked like on the chat. See? There we go. Alrighty, 27 minutes in. Ah, oh, half done. Should, should Zwift be less game and more real racing? I think it should be more of both. And not one or the other. It, it could be... Yeah, absolutely, it could be both. For the pro races, they could really make it uh, step it up with the physics and the teamwork, a bit of steering, crosswinds, headwinds, you name it. But for the gamification side of things, you should be able to enter an event that says, click the coins, click the bananas, click the whatevers, <laughs> click the biddens. So it doesn't have to be either or. Lots of uh, online chat about what people think it is or think it should be or People get really passionate about it. Could be anything. It could be anything and both, I think. Yep, here we go. Alrighty. I'm up the road a little bit. Hilly loop. Drink time. So I think it's going to take us back down the Sequoia Circle. Back over Watopia Hilly and that'll be it. I think that'll be the course. We shall cool. see. I'm a little bit up the road. So when am I getting the lightweight wheels? So should Von go for the Elp? Should we live stream this <laughs> with Von going up the Elp? Can people handle listening to Shane talk for <laughs> two hours? <laughs> uh, Von, do you think it's uh, worthwhile joining RCC? Asks Abigail. In a non-lockdown situation, yes. There we go. That's a good point. <laughs> um, absolutely for me. You had a lot of good rides with them in Melbourne. Was it a free coffee a day? You got a free coffee every... Yep. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so we have the RCC club in Melbourne. 
I work in Melbourne, so free daily coffee is a big pulling power for me. Um, but also the organised rides is uh, something I really enjoy. Done a lot of the transfer rides, a lot of the bigger events, um, a lot of the women's stuff. Unfortunately, the tour down under this year, they had to cancel the women's ride for Rafa because it got rained out. Hey, I, I can't, I'm gonna, I'm dropped. <laughs> you were with me a second ago. Must be these wheels. I forgot to pump them up. I put them on. I didn't pump them up. That's nuts. Four seconds down. Three seconds down. What happened there? Two seconds down. Don't overshoot it. There I am. Oh, that wasn't <laughs> in the plan. That wasn't the plan. Welcome to Team Alpaca, Jason. Thanks so much for supporting what Shane does. Still not there. How many times have I climbed the Alp? Well, let me tell you. Oh, I've been caught out here. <laughs> I used Shane's video the other day to check on Strava <laughs> how many times I've been up the Alp. And I know I've done it many times, but not all the way to the top because I got the like, you know, uh, the trombone. Hey, I can't. I... Got the trombone. Well, so, sorry, uh, I did that. Give me a moment. By doing workouts going up the Alp to get the elevation, but never fully made it to the top except the one time <laughs> when it was released. So, so you've done the Alp once? Virtually, yes. Do you I have the... have done the real Alp tours once. So you're one for one? Yeah. Okay. I'm none for 14. <laughs> so do we think that Vaughn should do the Alp and what are her chances of getting the wheels? Or oh, here's a trick. Do I create a meetup, invite Vaughn along, have it as a, a keep together ride, which I think uses some combination of the both of us the speed we're both doing and what right. to go up the hill. So that should pull one up the, the hill a little faster. Me, maybe a little slower, but the average for Vaughn should be higher. The question is, are you awarded the mitts, the mitts or the uh, the spin wheel if you're part of a bit of a, I wouldn't say hack. I would say a cheeky way to get you up the hill faster. I would say no. I don't reckon the spin wheel would engage. <laughs> the World Hungarian says it would be very funny if you got the wheels. <laughs> yeah, funny for everyone watching. Uh -huh. You saw how much I suffered for those wheels. Well, no, it wasn't suffering as race suffering as what we did at the, uh, I think stage two ought route at the end there was the most suffering I've done for a while. Um, the long grinds up the hill weren't that bad, but it was just the time. Yeah, one more for the Massacus badge for me. Yeah, I've got a few to go for that. Yeah, I think we do it. I'll talk Vaughn into it and we'll go live again. And everyone can join us for the downhill party. That's why we do it. So if you didn't tune in the other day, once I got to the top and did the wheels and did the dance and got the, it was all happy days. Yeah. I was inviting people to join me at the top. Even if you weren't logged in on a bike, you can still join us on the free descent. I think we had about 40 people to join. And we all set PBs on the downhill because we had a peloton of 40 riders shooting down for free Ks. That was awesome. It was hilarious. It made my day. It was, I think there was that and bin night for my week highlights. <laughs> and bin night's right after this. Can't wait. We get to take the bin out for the week. It's so, about... you know, I'm going to spin the bottle and see if it's recycling night or green waste night. I've, I've checked. It's green waste night, Ooh. but we haven't been outside to uh, mow the lawn, so green waste is a waste of time. Alrighty. Good bunchy we got going here. Loving it. Uh, Jason, the lockdown rules we have is exercise is okay, alone or with people you live with. Uh, essential travel only. Fitness is called essential travel, which is a bit weird. We can go for rides. I've been doing most of my work 
on the bike indoors. Uh, and coffee is an essential service, definitely. All the places around here have uh, markings on the ground where to stand. The supermarkets have implemented screens. It is... Contactless payments. If you had told us 10 years ago what we'd be encountering today, who would have thought? Who would have thought? People have questioned a random descent on Strava, so they should. <laughs> uh, did you really travel to the Alp? No. I did you I, get my sleep? The, uh, the most interesting one is when people say, did you ride in the water? Because the Zwift <laughs> uploads yeah. to Strava don't have the proper overlays for the virtual worlds. Strava could very well split that out into a virtual world. There's no reason why they can't. Well, they know Other it's a than, virtual ride, right? Yeah. So they could make a virtual world with virtual islands and roads and overlays, of course. Downhill speed party it was. It was brilliant. Uh, Veloton, uh, we were aware of Veloton a couple of, was it a year ago? Where they were doing some launches, but haven't seen anything since, haven't seen. When it goes public beta and people are riding it and putting videos up on YouTube, I'll check it out like everyone else. But nothing since. Michael's brand new to Zwift. And it pains, <laughs> it pains you to see how fast we are, how much quicker guys ride at the same wattage as me, yeah. There's a, Michael, there's a, there's a bunch for everyone. If you look for the, uh, the one to two watts per kilo bunches, there'll be a few of those per week. No drop rides, group rides. There's always something, always something. There's two rules on Zwift. There's always someone faster than you. There's always someone slower than you. So, nothing to worry about. Speaking of someone faster, watch how Vaughn's gonna rip past me right now. Uh, would you ever get a job with Cycling Australia? Absolutely not, no. Not being nasty, but that's not the area that I'm in, though. Cycling administration would be difficult, especially during this time. Not much to do sir. Oof. No, it's just the way it is at the moment, and yeah. the type of work they do, it's like working in a bike shop, I think. If you love bikes, tinkering with bikes, if you start working in a bike shop and you deal with mostly lower end bikes, probably not what you were dreaming of. Uh, masks, when we go out, no, it's not a requirement. Hey, Vaughn, wait up. Um. Oh. I guess we're gonna turn left here and go over that hill and then come into the finish line. Yeah, that will be at 9.7k, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So the standard Watopia Hilly coming up. Yes. Boom. Ready for the climb. Whew. Quick harvest. I just want that route unlock badge. If there's a carrot to chase, I've... it's gotta be there. All right. Let's get some picks. How hard you working? Me? <laughs> well, you Show me your graph. You're cruising. 141 for the KOM. What's the Q? Do we see the QOMs on yours? How yep. do we see the QOMs? It'll swap to QOM in a second. Okay. Three point five million bike, mate. This is not the. You can't buy this one. This is the Buffalo bike. The safety bike's the one you can buy. Off. So you can see there the Q. QOM. It has a minute thirty four. Two fourteen. What's? Oh, that's weird. I'm okay. Two fourteen. Two fourteen. You want to go for it? Yep. I'm willing to lead you out. It's weird though that your number one goal that's got the top screen there is 134. That should be QOM. It's switched. Yeah. Oh, there goes one. 
bit in the top heads up. Shows you overall. Yeah. I guess they can carve that either way. All right, let's do it. Unhappy bread. No, I'm not going to touch my stream deck. It's all set up differently. Who knows what'll pop up on screen? Uh, we got back for Vaughn. Crunch. So you won't hear Vaughn's gear changes. She's on the kicker bike. Off. And has better gearing than what I do. What are you spinning at? 76, 77, perfect. Up the hill, okay. Last push. Oh, don't tell me the product recall. On the virtual wheels, I'll be, I'll be devastated. Don't tell me there's a virtual product recall. Oh, you have to give them to me. You'll die. If there's a recall there, <laughs> don't want you getting broken pixels. Small fans, uh, anything Vornado, anything with, that is round and circular, has a bit of a tunnel shape to it. It's directional. Fans with open open uh, wire casing seem to spit air everywhere. Something that's directional though, you can really put on your body, off to the side and get as much surface area as possible. And <laughs> no 600 watt efforts up here now. <laughs> All right, nearly there. It, I've got to say, it's difficult to keep with somebody with this many people on. Yeah. The outdoors, it's really, you got to feel for where someone is, the draft, knowing where they are, moving through a bunch. With this, it's still a bit lifeless. A bit with the sticky draft and everything. Whew. What does Vaughn do for work? Vaughn is a project manager. Yep, IT project manager. Was he in coding? Yeah, you were. Notes coding? Yep. Uh, what else? C .net? C sharp .net. C sharp .net. Good design. We are not writing in erg mode, no. This is sim mode, so it simulates the gradients. I still can't figure out why. Oh, you're way back. I've got the companion out here. All right, spin time. Yvonne looks after Babi Lama. Yes, still on maternity leave. He's a handful. So is Max. Both <laughs> uh. seem to be teething at the same time. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, the friends and things on Zwift are on screen on the mobile app, so that's where they've done all of that. Uh, I'll flip over that in just one sec. So I'll show you, show you my mainstream here, so you can see there over the other side, the little photo of Von there is where my friends are. On screen here is difficult, but over there on the companion app makes it all pretty easy. So here's a, my full screen. On Windows 10, running a, it's a, an i7 Gen 9 Intel rig with an NVIDIA tw RTX 2060. And we'll flip to Vons, which is Apple TV 4K. Yeah. And you're getting 30 frames a sec out of that. Apple TV 4K, it renders the menus on the side. I'm pointing, I'm never on camera. It renders the menus and things in 4K, but the gameplay is 1080. It still rides very well though. There's no question about that. I'll get my graph off the screen. 
There we go. Oh. Max definitely has more hair than me. <laughs> Confirmed, yeah? Yep, comes off the Mitchich side for sure. Yep, I'm glad. Uh, the animal is a, is a, is it Sia? Kriya, Kriya, Sia, or baby llama? Or is it a baby alpaca? I don't know. Ours is called a number of things. Chicken. Little chicken. <laughs> cute, mainly, cute. Sometimes smelly. <laughs> uh, there we go, there's Vaughn. Alrighty. Coming back down past Hanks. Yep. I really do like this big scale stuff that they've added into the world, so. The big bikes. Yeah. I mean, I like the realism too, but. You see the graphic differences just side by side there between yours and mine. Just looking at these now on the screens here, so mine has a little bit more graphical detail. Nothing that you miss though on yours, because the experience is still there. If, you, if you're tied up in just watching the wheel, positioning yourself, like you don't know that there's little blue things. So I have blue flowers. You have no blue flowers. My trees are bigger. I have more trees. It's a good side-by-side -side indication as well, even though it is downscaled. Um, and downscale again with whatever you're watching it on, so it's going to be completely different than being here in person. Your grandson is Wee Man. <laughs> Where's my wave? Oh, my wave's not working. Of course I'd cry when Max was born. He was awesome. He was the first one to cry though. Yeah, we were holding our breath for him to take his first breath. <laughs> Once we heard that first breath, which if you're playing the long game, you'd see one of my videos, the first video that I did up on here after Max was born. There was a little baby cry right at the end. Well, it wasn't, wasn't, I haven't done any baby videos or anything. This is a bike channel, but I think I did a swift, swift tip. And right at the end you hear this, Rah! and I looked to the side. And that was my little hint that uh, we had a little baby llama. And that was his very, the very first noise he ever made. His very first scream. <laughs> I can't remember which video it was hidden on. It'll be around August, fourteenth, fifteenth, somewhere like that. Thanks to the left. I'm just going to show that guy my wheels. I just went up to the side to see. You know, <laughs> hey, maybe have you seen? Seen his wheels? <laughs> Love it. Uh, iOS does struggle in the Peloton, depending on what version you're running of the hardware. Newer hardware is pretty good, but I'm really surprised at Apple TV 4K. I rode it for, I think, Tour of Watopia, and it was fine. The previous version of Apple TV, no, no good. It works, but if I side by side of that, everyone would be throwing up at the other one. It's terrible. <laughs> ben cried when baby one was born and cried when baby two was born for very different reasons. <laughs> you knew it was coming. <laughs> uh, how do I recover between big Zwift rides, Tim? I'm usually sore after a Zwift ride and it takes longer for me to recover because there's no coasting on these things. This is a bit of a chill ride, but on the racing, the longer stuff, there's no coasting. You sweat a ton more, so it's just really important you just drink, drink, drink. And that, uh, yeah, just refuel, you've got to refuel straight after the ride. Depends how soon you want to get back on the bike and go hard. Coming up to the sprint. If it's uh, 24, oh, it's too late now, I'm start sprinting. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 16. 16. Not even real humans do that. Ah, uh, no, that's not a real human. You can see with no power there. It's Z power. <clears throat> not sure I've cracked 20 on that. Maybe with a lead out and a big bunch, you can probably get a big slingshot. Okay, what power up do you think I'm going to get when I go through the archway? Uh, What's money on? Burrito? You'll never get a burrito in this ride. Oh. Or a ghost. They're special. 
I reckon a drafter. Plus 10. The Ooh. ones that, the one you don't want. You don't want a plus. Who wants a plus 10 XP? Ready? Yeah, when you're in your 30s, level 33, you're like. Alright, what are you gonna get? What are you gonna, It's not the wheels. You better not get the wheels. Come on, plus 10. Oh, the drafter. Okay. So when's the best time to drop a drafty van? If you want to win the sprint here, you didn't want to attack on this last hill, you want to take it to the sprint. Drop the drafty under the bridge and get a slingshot. No, no, under the bridge before the run to the finish line. At about 700. Oh, yeah. the tunnels are yeah. the yeah, Ages away. Yeah. That's where you drop that. Use the slingshot as long as you can back yourself in a 25 second all out effort, yeah. which is not what tonight's all about. Well, if you see the sprint times on my screen here, they're like 30, 31, not the best. <laughs> Excellent, good to hear Vantis, you got the Apple TV 4K. And it's hassle free, awesome, good to hear. Is there a hack other than AirPlay to get Zwift on, uh, that you can get Zwift on an old Apple TV? No, the no. old Apple TVs are not. You don't want it on there either. The new ones are cheapish anyway, relative, depending on your budget. But what Von's Zwifting on cost me $200, what I'm Zwifting on cost me $2,000. So that's in Aussie dollars. So you can see there's not 10 times the better experience that I'm having, but I am streaming everything through this, so it's for different purposes. All right, so we're only a KL2 to go. No, there won't be a Llama Descent Party. <laughs> there's no downhills. Next time we'll choose a route with Taz1 and we'll give everyone pre-warning. So if we're doing a route unlock, we'll do quite a few of these because I've got tons to tick off. Um, We'll let people know in advance what hills are coming up and you can join us on the descents. Yeah. Am I behind Vaughn or not your... I'm behind you. Yep, yep, okay. All right, so what this ride's been about is for us to unlock the route achievement badge, which I haven't got. You only get them when you select this, this specific route too. So if you went out and rode every, every um, direction on Watopia, you'll only ever get the one route that you've selected. So you need to start the new ride, as I understand it. Because I've ridden these heaps of times and never gotten the badges. Eh, eh, eh. Vaughn's got more than me. It's a bit easier now that you can select like multiple worlds. Because uh, I yes. had to wait till we had other worlds there. And they have to schedule your ride in on the day, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for dropping by, Paul. Much appreciated the, uh, the questions and chat. Makes our time go a lot faster. Thanks, Paul. So a trick with the latest update to the uh, meetups, where you can select any world other than the event only worlds, such as uh, Bologna and Crit City, is that you can start your own group ride and just join it yourself. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that the route badges are awarded though for the meetup rides. No, I need to confirm that. this. I need someone to confirm we need to do a test, or we need to test this up Alp to Zwift. We'll get Vaughn to the, the top. That's the worst idea. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what I was saying, Vaughn. If you were to, so right now you'd use your momentum. Now you get up to speed. You drop your uh, your draft. You've already dropped your draft. Yeah, to try and catch up to you. Huh. Didn't work. And then you you <laughs> take a run for it because you won't lose any of your uh, much of your speed on the flat if you maintain your watts. But you could win a, a race from here at 700 watts to the line versus doing 1300 in the last 100 meters. Whoa. Easy. Because it's all about ramping your speed and keeping it there rather than the ramp is just very slow. So let me repeat that because I wasn't listening. Yeah, you're going to have to repeat it loud though. So you go through that tunnel that we've just been through. Yep, if you have the, the draft, drop drop the draft. Yep. Assuming you've got some people to bounce through, like you, as you do now, you've got tons of people to bounce off. Yep. yep. So you've already got momentum when you drop it. Yep. And you've got all the newbies. Yes. <laughs> um, and then do I kick into the sprint from there? Or do I get to 200 meters and go? You don't sprint. You just, just, keep going. just get your watts up to 800, 700, whatever you've got and just punch it. Okay. You, you, there's no spiky sprints. Just hold it. Are we punch ready? It. You, got, you got your screenshot? You got your screenshot? This should be the route. God, I hope it's a route. We've just spent an hour looking for it. Ready? Let's do it. Shot. Let's do it. Get out of my shot, dude. Yes. Yes. Oh, I, I, what? Get out. Get your, get, there you go. Hey! Great work. Keep exploring. Done deal. Well done, Mr. Swift. One down.
couple to go. Uh, I'm going to ride through to the hour if you want to join me for that. We'll go out yep, the. I need um, to cool down. Yeah, okay, so another five minutes we're here. turning the car in my top. Esports Director Sportif. Hey, if you want to catch a, a really good discussion on, on Zwift from a, a view of a professional that isn't sugar-coated, that isn't marketing, that isn't any BS, it's just straight out somebody's experience, Jack Haig over on the Lanton Rouge channel today, over on YouTube, has a brilliant little discussion about his experience on Zwift. Um, as a racer, as... And he's brutally honest. He just says, look... Because uh, Lanton Rouge says, you know, do... um." Does he believe in the people can put out six watts a kilo for 20 minutes plus? And Jack Hager's spot on the money and says, yeah, absolutely. A lot of people can do that, but they're not going to be pro cyclists because it's more than just being a watt monster. On Zwift, you can be a watt beast and win. Outdoors. Cornering, descending, there's everything. Racecraft, Even the mental gap. Oh, some dude in the bushes, some dude in the bushes. See, that guy was probably putting out six watts a kilo in the bushes. What a waste of time. You could cycle across. But as a pro, pro roadie, no go. So a really good little chat there with Jack Haig. Jack has nailed it. Of all the pros on Zwift um, in lockdown and using social media really well, I have the utmost respect for Jack and what he's doing for his sponsors. And he gets it. He even says early on, Von. Yeah. He realizes that we're a moving billboard. That's what cycling is. Yeah. Brilliant. Because there's a number of pros or cyclists who think that it's all about their performance. The performance is part of what they do, but if that billboard is a bit of a brat, no one wants to put billboards on you. Not going to happen. You're going to struggle. I mean, we want to see passion. Um, there's, there's, you, you can have passion for sure. Absolutely, but, but you've got to have in a professional manner. You've got to have respect for who pays the bills. That too. All right, we're together now. Yay! Yeah, really interesting one. But Jack Haig, awesome, awesome dude. If, you, if, if there's ever a Jack Haig ride on Zwift, clip in, join it. He will chat. Uh, he won't blow off the front unless it's a race. Uh, <laughs> link to Jack's channel. Um, it's not on Jack's channel, it's on Lanton Rouge. The Lanton Rouge, spelt like the Lanton Rouge. Okay. All right, yeah, rolling. What is he live streaming on? On Facebook or YouTube? Lanton Rouge no, is up there. Jack Haig. I'm not sure if Jack Haig's streaming. Is Jack Haig okay. streaming? Don't know. This I'm was a... to follow him on Instagram at this point. Okay. Lockdown's going on, okay, Mitch. It's not. It's business as usual for me. A lot of people are online. Ah! I'm beginning in the. What the hell? Yo! How did you get to. I got 100 grand ones. I love you guys. I love you guys. <sighs> Obviously, you love me. Good job. Obviously, I, I it's was. It took me four or five years to actually get that. How good was that? <laughs> Thank uh, you so much. I'm taking some ride on tax from that. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks to everyone for giving Von a ride on for this too. That would have been a big help for you that. Made my day. Thank <laughs> <you>. <laughs> That's awesome. That's one you didn't have. We didn't. Yeah. Damn. I thought it's taken me that long. Who would have thought? Normally, even in you know a HDR, you have to get 300, like 100 people to give yeah. you a ride on. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I've been blown out the back of that. Uh, Jawson. Uh, but lockdown here, it's, it's more the commercial side of things. Our coffee shop here locally is shut down. Um, the supermarkets have put in lines on the ground where you can't walk near people. And it's all just, I mean, everyone know everyone's going through the same thing. So yeah. there's no different for us. Um, it's essential travel only and fitness outdoors. Uh, I'm not even catching up with the family or anything. So that's, that's a bit... That's hard with the little one. Yeah, especially little Maxi. With, um, we've got him on video, uh, video conference. Ma speed dial with everyone. Max is going to be an absolute genius with uh, mobile phones. So that's all good. All right, another minute to go, then we'll call it a night. Thanks everyone for joining along. Um, that was Von on the Apple TV 4K and me on the great. PC. On the PC, so. Still have a cool How different does it look for you under the sea? You've still got the same fishies. Under that yeah, it's looking pretty similar. Just a bit different uh, in the frame rates there. Other than that, though, the experience of us riding together. So, if you're looking to set up a second Zwift station, hey, subscriber, thank you. Thanks for your subscription. If you're looking to set up a second Zwift machine, um, Apple TV 4K, Bluetooth, no dongles required, trainer, boom, there you go. Um, no crosstalk, no interference between our two systems. I was on the uh, Elite Diretto tonight on my TCR with the XKD power meter. Um, 
Asioma Duos, Von's on the kicker bike with just the kicker bike, that's all it needs. How's the tilt? How's the tilt? Amazing. <laughs> Keeping me on my toes and on the saddle. Yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, that's about it. We had two fans going. We now have two kicker desks in front of us, yep. which is handy. That's so good. Um, I don't think I've shown the kicker desk a lot on the channel because Sorry, usually it's just right underneath. Right there. Oh, there we go. Von's got the kicker desk in. So I'll be pimping that out, one Stop. of these out in the next few days. DJing. We need some um, drink bottle holders and things on it. <laughs> Time for dinner. We have earned our, you've got two badges out of this. That was a good night for Vaughn. I'm done. All right. Uh, Chris S, our schedule is a bit unknown due to Max and due to work and everything. So. Uh, Open to ideas about. Yeah, rides. that's why I never run group rides. Early on, many years ago, Zwift were asking me if I wanted to run group rides and weekly things. I just couldn't commit to doing the same thing on the same night every night or um, ongoing. The, the way I work is if, if I spot anything that's really interesting, just as a bit of background, such as the companion app update last, you know, yesterday, yesterday was Saturday, they all roll into one. I had no idea that was coming. I saw the app update on the, on the phone there and. Uh, Jumped on it, tested it out, made a video that goes five hours. That's how long it takes to put into a, a video like that to make sure it all works and get my facts checked and straight and and all that. And if I had a video or if I had a ride schedule, I wouldn't be able to do that. So can't can't commit to a a schedule at the moment. Uh, one off donation rather than subscribe, Michael. No, I don't have that at the moment. Um, I tried to look at that with PayPal. But that didn't. Oh, I'm waving. I'm trying to wave and capture at the same time. I can't. But the one-off on here, you can do the uh, the super chat, which is the little dollar sign here in the chat. That's a once-off. Yeah. Ah, oh, hill. With a YouTube tax. With a YouTube tax. That's okay. That, that's one way you can contribute as a once-off. Oh, All right, we're going so to get to the top of this hill. Subscribe. Going to get to the hill, top of the hill. Top of the hill. You're not. falling down. I know, but there's a hill, so I have to get to the top of the hill. There's a, there's a carrot. It's a carrot. I've got a 34 Ks. I'm calling it a day. Done, done. Oh, you're right on. Showed up. Awesome. Good stuff. <laughs> Just in time. All right, I'll see if I can get some two two of the similar cameras too, because we've got different uh, different skin tones here. Von, you're a bit pinkish. Well, that means you can invite people to come ride. There we once go. We um, come out of lockdown. 30 minute heads up. That I can do. That I can do. Keep an eye on my Twitter. GP Lama over on Twitter. Um, I'll announce it there too. To do what? I'll go for a ride if we're doing another one of these. Oh, okay, here yeah. I'll do, I'll do a, a, a pedal party heads up. There we go. Pedal, these are pedal parties now. Uh, no simultaneous Twitch stream. No, I'll be looking at getting a uh, restream set up so I can do both. Thanks, Tavo. Tavo, much appreciated. Thanks. That was a good uh, two euro test. Yep. <laughs> Uh, Zwift going to the virtual with VR headsets. Zwift has supported VR headsets since years ago. Uh, I've done a video on that from Eurobike, 2016 or 17, 17 probably. Um, yeah, and these days VR headsets aren't going to be something you'll be ever seeing a lot of. Not in public, no one's going to be sharing headsets in the near future. Uh, so I expect that technology to... Well, I was pretty much waiting for the game industry to sort that out. As we've seen with the NVIDIA and the graphics cards and stuff, that's come over from the gaming industry into our training world, even though this is still a game. So I was hoping VR headsets would really take a leap forward, or 3D, maybe even augmented reality, where we can have our stats pop up with a set of glasses on or something, but that really hasn't happened. So, maybe soon. We need to, this has to keep progressing forward. We're seeing a massive influx of people get on cycling, indoor cycling now. Fine, you've got 400 metres to go. You can't stop there. To what? Until your next kilometre. Thank you. You get an extra 30 XP. <laughs> we see a lot of people coming onto indoor cycling now, and uh, because it, the graph is like the, the growth is like this, but the experience still needs to match that as well by changing the experience because a lot of people come and go, um, and if that experience keeps in, you know, improving every every few weeks or months, um, those people will hang around. Um, when we can start riding outdoors a lot more, sure, we won't see the numbers we're seeing on Zwift now. Uh, but if the experience is good and we do things like VR or augmented reality or something like that, um, yeah, we'll keep more people on board and everything else is more fun. So tonight we had thousands of people to ride with. Typically, a couple of years ago, that was just us. So that's all good. 
and we can now choose uh, multiple worlds with the meetups. I think next ride, what Von and I will do, we'll do a, um, a meetup together on a world that nobody is on, like one of the off worlds. Off world. Off, off world. <laughs> Which is like West World, but off. <laughs> Alrighty, Michael and Grant, thank you so much for those uh, thank super you. chats. We will be having a coffee tomorrow. Oh. It's the, it's the second highlight of my week. The first highlight was bin night. Because <laughs> there's not much else going on. All right, everyone, we'll leave it there. Thanks for joining along. Uh, thanks, Juan, for coming along for this one. Thanks for the invite. It's, uh, it was a bit of a setup getting us uh, going here in the lab, but hopefully it's all worked out okay. Absolutely and we'll has. be back again soon. I've got a plaque I've got to unbox, Juan. Yeah. Should I do I'd that? i to see that, what that looks like and talk about all the hard work you put in that one. Absolutely. We'll have a reflect on the channel. Yeah. Um, it's the 100,000 subscriber really plaque that came in a month or so ago that I just haven't got to yet. I think that's going to be a bit of fun. It needs to hang on the wall somewhere. I've, I've, I've aimed at that for years. That's funny. Anyway, thanks everyone. Have a great night, a great evening, wherever you are. Uh, call your family. Video chats are awesome. And uh, enjoy your next coffee. Because we are. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks. All right. See you, See you next time, everyone.